So we got one level over here. Actually, you know what, just to make things as streamlined. Because as, so as soon as you do the last level you need to do, it'll, it's going to send you automatically to uh, the, like, the, the boss. Or not, not the boss, but like the transport the thing. Yeah. yeah, so just going to do the speedway first. Uh, and this is the yeah, first. Sparks talks. Yeah, this is the first game where Sparks talks, and uh, you can kind of make out what he's saying, but it, it usually just comes off as gibberish. Funny thing is, they actually got his actor back for Skylanders. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not so bad in this game. It's usually like preserved for like the speedways, but in Spyro 4, like for whatever for whatever reason, they just decided to make Sparks just talk your ear off. Uh. But yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> the speedways have been definitely streamlined. <laughs> yeah. Like Spark just outright tells you them optimal, the seemingly optimal pattern, and I, I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah. The general, I... Yeah. Like, the, the normal speed, the speedways, like, getting all the objects and stuff, is these are probably the easiest out of, out of the three games, overall. Um... But they also... And Killing they... environment. <laughs> yeah, but they also have, they, they also have, like, the Hunter mini games, like the second game, which... I'd say are around the same level of difficulty, um, and they also added um, race challenges, which can actually get pretty tight, especially like uh, later on. So, what were they going to do with that egg? Oh goodness, I, I have no idea. Raise it as their own. Yeah. Alright, now let's find Hunter. And in this game, you actually do find Hunter himself. It's not like a random character. From what I remember. Uh, so... I think he's hiding like behind a mushroom or something. The music in this track in this speedway is good. Yeah. I think it's a small Like, I, Gear Dragon yeah. might actually have my favorite of the. I have my favorite Stuart Copeland track of the Spiral games. Yeah, this is probably my favorite Spire soundtrack. Yeah! Yeah, so I like uh, Spire 2, the. These are mini games. That was a great start. <laughs> Whoa, a bunch of sheep. Yeah, it's just uh, goes back in time. Never happened. But yeah, uh, like like the second game, all, all these uh, speedways have uh, hunter challenges in them. So, and if you, hmm, what to say, Harry? No, I was gonna say if you, if you have the original black label version, you have to be careful because I hear if you, if you don't get everything in a speedway uh, before you leave, you can gl you can kind of create a dead game. Because if you try and come back, uh, you'll just not be able to get the remaining eggs. I don't know what causes it, but yeah, if you have if you have the original original release, make sure you get everything in the speedways uh, before you leave. Otherwise, you'll cause some issues. That is crazy. Yeah. I'll be right back. There, I need to go get some food. Fair enough. We're just shooting some people. There we go, cool. Oh, cool. 
delicious, bro, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Woohoo! Check it out. The squad leader had abducted this egg. Okay, right, cool. Uh, now I have to race the butterflies. Okay, so yeah, the these are new to Spyro Three. I, I like. Uh, I, I guess I'll say this when Scotty comes back, but like, yeah, the. These are new to Spyro 3, uh, you have to race, you have to race, um, in each of the speedways against the, like, certain set of characters, I guess, um, and they get more, more and more difficult the later, this, the later on, uh, the speedway you're playing. I don't know, I worded that badly, but you get the point. They're pretty self-explanatory, uh, the blue star rings um, gives you a boost. You get red ones later on that will give you a projectile, and you just have to fly through all the rings, uh, green rings, pretty much. And if you miss one, I think it just automatically like make call it counts as a fail. And you can also burn the uh, the uh, opponents, <laughs> which slows them down. If we hadn't managed to reach this guy. Could kind of see like smoke coming out of the butterfly. I'm back. Hello, and we just finished the. Uh, the race. I kind of like how each game like introduces one new thing for the speedways at a time. Well, the the first game like just introduces the idea of speedways in general. The second game introduces a hunter challenge, and then this game introduces the uh, the races. And then Spyro Four introduces pain and suffering. <laughs> This is a water. Yeah, this is a water level. Okay. While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine, and then they took it for a joyride, and, and then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in the story and stuck my friends in the jail behind you. Rip. Yeah, again. Uh, pro. The main issue, like. The main plot of of, uh, of this world is is to do with the Rhinox. It, like if there's any like any positive I can say about like Spyro 2 like disconnecting itself from Repto in the stages is that they have more room to make the the level plots unique from one another. Um, Whereas in like in this game, like um, it it basically some can be summed up as uh, Rhinox showed up and did a thing, which again I do I do like that, um, 
in, in the sense that it get, it, ma it makes um it connects the plot of the level and the plot of the actual the main game. Uh, it, it connects both both plots together pretty well. But again, if I if I had to give Spyro two credit for doing it a diff like its own way, it would be that it leaves room for more creative level plots, I guess. But even still. Yeah, I can see both. I can see it for your cover so. Mm. You can press the select button to open the Atlas page for the world you are in. Yeah, you're gonna have to describe the music for me because the sound cut out on my end. Huh? You're gonna have to describe the music for me because the sound cut out on my end. Do 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 do. Oh, hold on. No, let let me re refresh the thing. Alright, you hear it? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Alright, no problem. Alright. Thank goodness this game could. Thank goodness this game kept Spyro 2's foot on the controls. Yeah, they keep the Spyro 2's foot on controls, which is nice. Jason! <laughs> No. He's with us in spirit. Nah. <laughs> Alright. I'm getting flashbacks of the like Crash Bandicoot's top voice level. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just thinking Donkey Kong. <laughs> but, yeah. Toxic Waste works too, I guess. Oh, it's also, it's also like, um... Oh goodness! Uh, some of the later level, the last few levels in Spyro One. Yeah, I do. That's actually I actually do like the last batch of levels in Spyro One a lot. Yeah. Kind of wish it. Kind of wish the last the last world go went on for a bit more. At least, like at least have one more level before Nasty Knock, because it kind of ends a bit too quickly. There's just so many other. There's like 28 other levels in the other. I don't know how many levels are in this part of but there's so many other levels before that that I kind of ready to go. I mean, yeah, I guess. Like, I could have, like, spaced out the levels a bit, or, like, put a few, at least plucked one from the prior world into Nasty's world, Nexus, what they call it. Yeah. How many levels are in... Okay, that was just me being careless. Uh, how many levels are in Sparrow 1? Let's find out. Because there's like five levels per homeworld, I think. Well, besides, I think Nasty's world might have one less. I could be wrong. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't know why you'd bother putting a tutorial for that there when the hunters already told us about that. Yeah, whatever. It's hard to get too upset when you can just skip text boxes. Oh, we got another Sheila section. I believe Sheila has the most sections out of the uh, uh, sep the side characters. I'm about to go and lend a foot. I love the smell of singed rhinoc in the morning. <laughs> Twelve. Wait, what? Twenty. Twenty-two levels before you actually fight Nasty Door. 
Okay. And counting Nasty Nork and the treasure and the- 24 levels. 24, okay. And Sparrow 2 had like, at least 20, like 20 something. Like 20 plus, that's definitely more than the fourth number of worlds, like I was a pretty lengthy game for its time. Yeah. It's like, when you add all the, like, side content you do in the levels, like, Sparrows 2 and 3 are much longer games. Like, compared to the first. You just generally spend more time in levels than you do in the first game. Where the sound just went out again, what happened? Oh, it went out again? That's, that's unfortunate. Skype is acting up today. I agree. Yeah. And yes, uh... I wouldn't mind so much, I'm just, I just know we're getting to the boss part and I don't want to miss that. Yeah. Okay, so... I... I... I gotta, like, mention this because this is gonna help you tremendously when playing this game. Uh, you don't need to break to so much of like all, all the stuff around the turrets uh, you just need to like just pound the the little bit coming out which I'm doing here because uh, if you try breaking all the little pieces above the uh, above the turrets you're not really gonna have enough time or you'll have Ooh. oof yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna have that much time if you try and break all the other stuff, so yeah, just break the little bits coming out of the turrets themselves. Like, as soon as you know that, that's pretty easy. How do you have a puppet if you have no pants? Yeah. All the gems. All the gems. Alright, let's get this chicken thing. We didn't go up here, did we? Oh no, we did. Alright. Is she still the only one of Spyro's friends who actually swims? Uh. Hmm. See, I don't. Yeah, I think she is. I don't think any of the other characters swim. That's actually kind of interesting. Never th thought about that. I mean, it doesn't matter too much because you never really swim with Sheila, but still. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, and also, like, since we just came out of the Sheila section, each uh, side character has a specific theme dedicated to them. What'd you, what'd you think about the character themes? <clears throat> They're good until they suck. <laughs> I'm usually... I... I like the idea of the character themes, but I think they're a little bit too repetitive. Like, just the, the, the melody kind of... The melody itself uh, is... For a lot of them, is just really repetitive. Oh, you're talking about the actual music themes yeah, that the characters have in their missions? I thought you were talking about the aesthetics. Uh, yeah, no, I'm talking about, yeah, I'm talking about, like, the, the, the music themes that the, char the characters have. Um... They're all right for the most part. Yeah. But I mean, if you hate the levels themselves, then that's just the theme of your suffering. <laughs> yeah. All right. I've... There's a skill point here somewhere. We get to like kill a <clears throat> chicken. Yeah, this guy. There we go. Oh, is that not it? I'm pretty sure there's a skill point somewhere. Let me check. Oh, 
and get these gems. And a secret passage. Heck is KP. Impossible. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Alright, just kill me because I don't want to have to do it with uh, with uh, green sparks. Can they not reach me? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna run into this guy. Chicken. Yeah. Oh goodness. But yeah, there's a uh, a few little mini bosses like this you'll find in uh, some of the um, mini game rooms, I guess. Ah! Alright, let's just power him. There we go. <laughs> wow! That's the first time Bluto has ever lost. You got kinda tanks it, but still. So purple. I hope this egg was worth all the trouble. Jackie Chan. Alright. Uh, some stuff to collect, so... Flame goes out for all... Stays out for a while, so it has like a lingering hitbox. Alright, and then there's stuff around here. Oh. All right. Hopefully we should be Fine. Alright, I'm pretty sure the funky chicken is supposed to be in this area. Is it not? It's not that. So. Kind of weird. Hmm. Oh, is that it? Is that just another one of the same enemy or fodder? Hmm. Are you still there? I'm here. I just. I'm like muted for a time being. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, apparently that was the right one. I don't understand what was different about that guy. But okay. Alright, th th this is kind of annoying.
Don't really know why, but you just have to kill the Rhinox. And, yeah. If you fail, if, like, if you miss one Rhinox, which I'm doing on the, fir on the, on the first one, uh, you have to do the whole thing again. And, uh, yeah, this, th this area kind of sucks. I don't, I'm not a fan of this. What you had to say? Ah. What do you think about this water tunnel? I said it all honestly. Hmm? I said it all honestly. Hmm. <laughs> I don't understand why you have to kill the rhinos, like, what's, what, I don't really get what they, what's stopping you from just continuing after that. Like, if they, uh, the camera doesn't really help either. You can, like, turn it, but it also just kind of disorients you a bit because of how fast you're moving. Uh, there's another session like this later on in the game in like the last world or whatever and it's even harder than this so yeah oh that was close that was not close enough at least with the second round of this uh, in the later in the later part of the game the, uh, you don't have to kill all the enemies, but y if you want to get all the skill, it's a tie to a skill point instead. So, you're still going to have to do it if you want to get the, what, the, um, epilogue and all that, but, yes. Uh, but yeah. This egg has surprisingly good fluid dynamic characteristics. From now on, all of our submarines will be egg-shaped. Yeah. Duke. Duke Nukem. Alright. We should be done this level soon. I'm not getting stuck. Oh, hi. Where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> My plan worked. That dumb octopus dropped the jail key while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends. Yay! Oh, I forgot to tell you. One of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Oh man. Yeah, some of some of these. You get like very narrowly close to us uh, to saving some of these uh, baby dragons. Yes, exit the actual portal this time. <laughs> Let's head on over to the balloon. And let's Sorry just... to bother you again, Harry, but the but the sound went out again. Oh, oh man! Thank you. All right. Let's just see what everyone has to say. I didn't mean to skip that, but all right. This balloon will take you to a land closer to the sorceress, Spyro. You can also use it to come back here whenever you want to. And this looks just like, uh, like a, a hot air balloon from the first game.
Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I... I tried to scare him off, Your Highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him. Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. You, come here. Oh, hey, it's character we're gonna see soon. Sorceress was planning to ambush you. I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. Okay, so, um, the, the bosses are, um, ba basically follow, like, the improved structure of the second game. Um, th this first one isn't too difficult, um, but I'd, I would say overall the, uh, the bosses in this game are a bit more challenging than Spyro 2, specifically when it comes to the second and third bosses. Those that can actually kick your butt if you're not careful. Um, the exception, I'd say, would be the final bosses. I'd, um, Spyro 2, I think, has the more difficult and gen just generally the better final boss. Um, but, yeah. I don't know, uh, Spyro 2, like, specifically when it comes to, um, Gulp and Repto, those bosses kind of went on for a bit, especially, like, especially when it, it felt like, uh, Gulp went on for ages, uh, this game, um, the, the game, the bosses in this game go by a lot faster, so they don't really go on, they, do, they don't tend to drag on for that long, uh, there's, I, they, they tend to have more things to look out for, as, um, with the exception of this one, where there's really not a lot to it. Uh, but what do you, what do you think about the bosses? I think Spyro 2 did them better. Mm. How did you not get hit with that? I don't know. <laughs> I, I will say, in terms of like just comparing Spyro 2, I think Spyro 2 has a better rogue of like bosses. Like Crush and Gulp are more memorable, and uh, yeah, th this game just has kind of generic, generic bad guys that got transformed. So it's not as fun in that regard, but I don't know. In terms of like just general bosses. Um, I think they're fine. This one's pretty weak though. I'm not too big of a fan of this one. Murder! Yeah, it's time to get to a point where it's recycling animations. How did she like get here before Spiral? That is a good question. And you just, just move, and... Yeah, Bianca talks to you at the start of every homeworld, I think. Okay, Dragon. You've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suppose...
suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. I'm telling you this for your own good, you know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, okay, so uh, what are we doing for time? Almost two hours. Uh, do you want to... Do you think we should do the Sparks novel now, or do you want to continue later? We can do the Sparks level and just call it a night then. Alright. Let's just do that quickly. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Alright, so, every, uh, whenever you finish a world and fight a boss, or finish your home world and fight the boss, if you go back uh, to the to the previous home world, you'll find Zoe near the Sparks line, and you get to play as Sparks through a little shooter section, pretty much. So you actually get to play as Sparks, which is kind of cool. I think I can't even shoot them right. <laughs> you can also move quickly by charging like Spyro. To charge, hold down the square button. Use your charge to chase down this fast enemy. There we go. And finally now for the hard part. Being a maneuverable dragonfly, you can also slide in any direction. To slide, hold down the L1 or R1 button. Then move with the analog stick or directional button. Try sliding up and down to hit the targets in this room. Yeah, so uh, Sparks has a strafing feature where you, you just hold one of the uh, L1. If you hold L1 or R1, you'll be able to just kind of strafe. And it makes things a lot easier. And just everything else is pretty self-explanatory, really. Travels, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the dragon worlds. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power-up butterfly, and then press the X button to use that power-up. Your power. Nope. Yeah. So this is a fun little um. Gameplay change. Uh, it's quite a bit different from how Sparrow works, but I I think it's uh, like the difficulty is um, help, is balanced pretty well for the most part. It doesn't it it doesn't really get s too difficult until like the later levels. But yeah, these are these aren't amazing shooters by any means, but for like a side character, it's not bad. And you still have to collect gems and you find an egg, you find like a boss at the end. Now what do you think about the Sparks levels? They're decent diversions. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Yeah. I don't have too much to say about this, these levels, but... It's nice to be able to play a Sparks in something. Don't know what these guys are doing. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's a 
It's crab from um, a level from Spyro 2. Uh, I can't remember the name off, to off top of my head. So where, where would you rank, uh, oh, uh, before I get on with that, uh, let's just kill these, let's just clean, clear up this place real quick. Yeah, the enemies usually come from little, like, passages or whatever, or like little boxes like that, they have to break, they'll give you a gem, so, yeah, they'll just keep coming back, but, uh, Okay, so I'm I'm trying to like free this up a bit so I can make so you can hear this. Okay, listen to what this sounds like. <laughs> what does that sound like? I was it's not that I could hear it, sorry. Oh. Okay, let me Maybe this doesn't happen next time. Uh, no, uh, when I when I uh, oh hey, see a switch like that again, I'll ask the same question. That is loud. These like um the fact that Sparks can just kinda shoot these little weird light these bullets or whatever is kinda random. <laughs> I don't know I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's just kind of a thing that happens. And now we have the bus. These don't tend to be too difficult. It's usually better to just use your normal uh, bullets rather than the special abilities because they don't. T these don't tend to do that much. So yeah, just kind of shoot them. And let's just grab these gems. And I think uh, Sparks' health will actually, like when you, uh, yeah, there we go. When you exit the le the the level, uh, will determine like Sparks' health in like the the normal game. So if he should be blue, considering that. Yeah. Nice work, Sparks. It's kind of cool, I guess. Yay! Yeah, every every time you finish a Sparks level, he gets like a special ability. Or an extra ability. Uh, but... Oh, you know what, let, uh, before we end off, let, let's just, let, let's just, uh, uh... Take a quick look at the, um... The money bag, money bags cutscene, cause why not? Cause that's probably, this probably gonna be that, this probably gonna have to be the next thing we do. Uh, the the character level. We'll clear up the actual homeworld layer. And there's a thief lying around. You can still hear, right? Yeah. All right. Ah, my good friend Spyro. The sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory. But I'm willing to release mm. you to your custody. It's a level that's going to happen later. <laughs> what a sucker. Uh, <laughs> is, 
It's a far, far better thing to do today, Spyro, than you have ever done, and, uh, well, so forth, etc. You get the idea. This is... Oh, man. Oh, this, uh, this is great. Officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX 9 rocket launchers, state of the art. So, why didn't you use them to escape? The, uh, because, because I have limited ammo and I want to crap. Use it for this. <laughs> Say, where'd you come from? I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Cheerio! Yeah, we've got Sergeant Bird. I like I like Sergeant Bird as a character, but um not too keen on his gameplay. But yeah, you know, we'll talk about that next time. I think we're gonna uh, stop. You wanna stop here today? Yeah, I think that'll be good. Yeah, so, um, if you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time for some Sergeant Bird action. So, yeah, I look forward to that, and we'll see you guys then. Good night.